How Airplane Legroom Got So Tight Have you ever wondered why airplane legroom feels tighter than ever? In this video, we uncover the surprising reasons behind shrinking space on flights. To travel through time and technology, get ready, because we're going to find out how airplane legroom got so tight. Hey, aviation enthusiasts and curious minds. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're taking a deep dive into the fascinating history of airplane legroom. From the glorious past to the cramped present, you would not believe the pressure we are experiencing today has caused us to suffer. 1. Development of Air Travel To understand how airplane legroom became so tight, we have to turn to the golden age of aviation. In the 1950s and 60s, flying was an exhilarating experience. Passengers enjoyed spacious seats and ample legroom, giving him a taste of the high life. At 30,000 feet. But as air travel became more accessible to the masses, airlines faced a challenge, how to accommodate more passengers without sacrificing profitability. This dilemma marked the beginning of a significant change in the aviation industry. Did. 2. Economics of Space Fast forward to the 1980s, the aviation landscape was changing. Airlines began to focus on maximizing profits and minimizing costs. One way to achieve this was by reducing the space between seats, a concept known as seat pitch. The tighter the pitch, the more seats the aircraft can fit, ultimately increasing revenue. But not only that. Deregulation of the airline industry allowed for more competition, which helped airlines find new ways to stay competitive. This led to a race to the bottom, where legroom was cut in favor of cheaper tickets. Has been discarded. 3. Technological Progress Innovation in airplane design and engineering played a key role in the development of legroom. As aircraft became more efficient and aerodynamic, certain compromises had to be made. Narrower seat designs and configurations allowed for more passengers, but space at the expense of the personal. Additionally, advances in in-flight entertainment, Wi-Fi and amenities shifted attention away from the need for extra legroom. Passengers were now willing to tolerate inconvenience to stay connected and entertained during their flights. For the future of airplane legroom. So, where do we go from here? As airlines adapt to changing consumer demands, the future of airplane legroom remains uncertain. Some airlines are offering premium economy options that offer a compromise between affordability and comfort. Others are exploring innovative seat designs and cabin layouts to optimize space. As a passenger, we can also take steps to make our flying experience more comfortable. Choosing airlines that prioritize passenger comfort and investing in extra legroom options can make a significant impact on our travels. Conclusion And there you have it, a captivating journey through the history of airplane legroom. From grand beginnings to modern times, this is the story of economics, technology, and evolving travel trends. Before signing off, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the world of aviation. And remember, while airplane legroom has shrunk, our fascination with flying continues to grow. Thank you for joining me today. Until next time, fly high and fly easy.